Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and today I'm doing a review of Mecha Jammer on PC. Now this was released way back in December 2021. I've had it since launch but I haven't done a video for it uh, mainly just because at launch it was a buggy sort of mess and eventually they did patch it out they brought out a big update and i've only just got chance to go back um after it obviously getting put on the back burner to giving it another go now i'm happy to say it has been vastly improved since i originally played it so the refracted update i think it launched around march time it massively massively improved uh, a lot of the performance issues added more content and quests because the, the world just felt very empty and lacking of any sort of substance uh, in the original release and it definitely feels more um more lively and a bit more sort of padded out now well mecha jammer is a uh, tactical cyberpunk turn-based rpg and basically um it's a very sort of grimy dark sort of game uh harks back to the sort of classic PC game sort of wasteland in this sort of aesthetic and look um, it's full of gore and violence and I actually really like the setting um, there's this open world city so you get to explore the city uh, I believe it's called Kalitana off the top, if I can remember correctly off the top of my head and uh, you can explore the city open world and all of the jungle surrounding it and stuff like that and you basically sort of build up your own sort of gang you can hire um, sort of mercenaries, thieves, etc. to your sort of squad, which you then use in like turn-based combat. And the turn-based combat is really cool when you've got like a full squad. Now, you also get to customize your own character, create a character, and the, that character creation is really cool. It's very in-depth, gives you lots of variety and stuff like that. So I highly recommend checking it out. Now, sound-wise, this game has a fantastic soundtrack really good i really like the um the music and stuff like that it, it fits in with the sort of dark grimy sort of cyberpunk future that's uh, on offer in the game um and like i say if you like these sort of games i feel like this one is really really cool now the new update that came out fixed obviously a lot of bugs but it also added a lot of things to the game so it added um new character portraits, new vehicles, new armor items. It adds like NPC gangs, it adds gang side quests, companion quests, which sort of really pad it out and give a lot more backstory to why people are there and stuff like that, which I really, really liked. Um, and it just feels like a totally different game. Now, it doesn't hold your hand this game. It very much feels like an old PC game where you just get sort of left to it and you've got to sort of figure it out. But once you sort of get your head around it and you do get into the meat of the game it is a really really uh, enjoyable and fun sort of uh, tactical game um, the turn-based combat isn't always perfect but it is quite fun and like i say if you like the grimy dark setting and the art style you like a lot of gore and stuff like that then you're in luck but I, I apologize it took me so long to do this video review like I, said, I have had it since launch but at launch it, it was just unplayable i played it so far and i just was like i don't know what i'm doing half the time stuff didn't work um but uh since obviously it's been updated it does feel a lot better um it seems to have in increased the amount of things to do made it more live like lively with sort of quests and stuff where it felt a bit bland and empty so i can give it a bit more of a recommendation now now the game is priced at 19.99 and it was developed by whale Nort studios and published by modern wolf and you can also pick up the soundtrack on steam for seven pound and 19 pence and you'll probably want to do that if you do play this game because the soundtrack is awesome but that's that for this video guys, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment down below to let me know uh, if you've played this game and what you think since it's been updated. Other than that, we'll see you soon for more content guys. Bye for now.